It's stimulating, mind-expanding, safer to use than alcohol. It's the Little Boys Room Podcast. Five, four, three, uh, uh, <laughs> two, two, one. Uh, welcome back. Two? Two. The. Oh, wait, we're not counting. What? Well, five. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to the Little Boys Room Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alex isn't here today because he's uh, showering a bride or something. <laughs> Golden shower on the bride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alex is doing a porn and my phone's doing a ring. <laughs> Who is that? No one. Don't, don't, don't worry. It's not the guest that's supposed to be here, is it? <laughs> no, no, it's Adrian. I figured. The guest that was here. How's he doing? Angel's doing good. Can we call him? Get him on the podcast. Okay, hold yeah. on. Yeah, call him up. Type in his number. Call him up. Beep, boop, bop. Beep, beep, boop, bop. Hey, uh, let me call back real quick, dude. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Okay, bye. bye. God damn it. Well, that was fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> good bit, everyone. <laughs> Killing it! Killing it! Fuck! Joe Rogan who? Get that fear factor ass bitch out of here. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. Waiting for the hammer to drop. That's all that's all we're waiting for. You know for. that part of the uh, of like uh, the roller coaster yeah. where you go. Oh, shit. <laughs> that part of the roller coaster where you're like Where your balls drop? Yeah, and then yeah. your dad beats you up. <laughs> Where 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 the camera's not there, so the the park folk don't don't see you get beat up. Shit. Speaking of shit, Aston, do you uh wipe your ass sitting down or standing up? Wait, hold on. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, do you do you shit and then like okay, and then you stand up from your seat and then wipe your ass? Yeah. Is that how you do it? <laughs> Sometimes. It's a better oh. angle. Yeah, if you sit when you sit down, you kind of have to like lean. Yeah, you got to lean and stuff. But I mean, and it's and it's not like a full stand. It's more like a half like wall sit squat stand, and then your your ass is out like like you're a bad bitch. Yeah, I and think then, I wouldn't I wouldn't consider consider that standing. Yeah, yeah like I'm just like, picturing you know, like a grown man just standing straight up. straight up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> shit. No. Everything's falling apart here. Yes, we always fall apart here at the little bars. Right? But yeah, uh, I wouldn't consider that standing. Okay, well, for the sake of discussion, it's standing. Uh, I so guess it depends both? on the uh, depends environment on, yeah. I'm pooping in. Like, I don't like to stand up in a public restroom because it's like, what if someone sees me? What if someone's filming? I'm that weird guy who wipes his ass <laughs> standing up, you know? Fuck that. There's a video I saw. Of me wiping my yeah, ass standing no, up? Yeah, <laughs> no, like, it's like a guy recording. And there's, he's recording the feet in the stall next to him. And it's a guy, and his feet are facing the toilet. But you see, like, his knees moving back and forth. And you don't know what he's doing. <laughs> and it's, like, two minutes long. Was he whacking it? I don't know. It he's looks like he's something. humping something. There's probably a girl in there, like, with her knees <laughs> no, but on the toilet. No? I don't think so. He's tripping balls. <laughs> Fucking, like, a flashlight or something. Oh, gross. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> gross. I'm sorry. We all wipe wipe our ass. We don't all fuck flashlights in public. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> now that you put it like that. It's kind of gross. <laughs> so, uh, um, what's on the agenda today, Brandon? Uh, I'm thinking about donating sperm. Oh, your plasma. <laughs> my my life plasma. <laughs> your life juice. <laughs> Baby yeah, food. I think you can get like a decent amount of money decent for that, right? Decent salary for that yearly. I think you can only donate like a couple like once a month or is it twice? No, well, so the place that I saw online it was like make 1500 monthly and I'm like wouldn't I oversaturate like this area with my jizz? Yeah, just Brandon's kids everywhere. Yeah, so that's probably misleading on their part. I'm sure it's just like a month thing and then you wait and then yeah. a month thing, but yeah. So um uh, going in for the appointment soon. Nice. They, they they need a a sample of the specimen. Do they provide any reading material? I'm sure they do. I'm sure they pro- fuck yeah, steal some of that. <laughs> <laughs> You're the guy stealing the fucking magazines from there. No, I think I think they have like like 
this belongs to blank in- Institute of Freezing Sperm or whatever. The I fuck. just ripped that page out. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? Oh, donating sperm? Yeah. yeah. More power to you. People who need it need it, you know? And then you get paid for it. Yeah. Providing a service. I feel like there, not there's some ethics to it, but I don't know. It's. I think the only it's unethical kind of a taboo. The only unethical thing would be like if you overdid it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down there every day, dude. And I doubt guys go in there doing it to like, oh, I want to help those who who can't. Those those whose men can't. Swim. I'm trying to get paid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all yeah. But who who knows? I'm sure there's that one case, you know. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's been on my plate. Is that it? Yeah, well, just I've been trying to find uh, ways to get more money because I got more bills. Nice. Got that new car. I've been getting into selling uh, old music gear. I sold Ray my old acoustic guitar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, for how much? Uh, 150 Oh, okay. So used price is like 200 It's kind of beat up and, you know, the homie yeah. discount. Yep, the homie yeah. hookup. I've been trying to sell my shit on Craigslist, but no, no buyers. One, no one's buying. Try Reverb. That's all, I sold one of my pedals there. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it out. Yeah. I'll try it out for my pedals, but I do have that big old fucking cabinet that Yeah. Like I'm shipping not, that would be a bitch. Fuck yeah. I think you can put it up and just be like local pickup only. Okay. And like more people would more people inclined to buy it would be looking there because reverb's pretty popular. Mm. Right on. Right yeah. On. Like remember we went that one dude like yeah. messaged me like, Oh, I'm in Santa Cruz, let's just meet up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yes, yes, of course. So Brandon. Mm-hmm. I got some uh Hot takes for you. Oh, you got some hot fucking takes? Yeah. Why don't you take those hot, hot takes, takes and get out of my fucking house? All right. I'll see you later. Goodbye, yeah, everyone. Bye. Well, it's been All right. A speaking boys. of hot, hot dogs, are they sandwiches? What? Is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh, fuck. Think about it. Oh, shit. Right? Oh. Society didn't prepare you for this. <laughs> Why didn't high school ask me, <laughs> do you teach me these words? No, it's not because you can make a hot dog sandwich. It's where you cut... Two dogs, lengthwise, like, lay them flat on, on on the bread. You put some mayo there, some mustard. What if you cut it up like like a carrot, like a little tiny? <laughs> like dice, <laughs> yeah. dice a hot dog? It becomes a salad? I don't mm, know. Perfect. No, it's it's not. It can't be a sandwich. It's For me, sandwich. I've always considered hot dogs to be like in its own category. Yeah, it's 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 a burger sandwich. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. If you let's say you open a sandwich shop, right? Mm-hmm. But you also sell hot dogs, you wouldn't just say sandwiches. You would be like, "Oh, we sell sandwiches and hot dogs." Very true. Yeah, yeah. burgers and dogs. Yep. Yeah. Hot dogs are weird. They're just, just as like a food item. They're just they're boneless sausages. Wait, is there bone in sausage? <laughs> no, they're boneless sausages. Wait a minute. It's it's, it's the may may. What's that? <laughs> it's may. Happy May, everyone. Ah! Happy, oh. um, what is it? Is it May the 4th? No, it's... May the 6th. F- Revenge of the 6th. Siete. Whatever. No, uh, C.S. De, 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 de Mayo. Bilingual boys. <laughs> Bilingual boys. <laughs> Hot dogs are not sandwiches, everyone. Nope. I'm glad we could come to that. Give me more. All right, I got... This is my, um... Actually, no. We'll say that for last. Oh. oh. All right. Rocks are squishy and soft until we touch them. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that? There's nothing... There's nothing saying they're not, so exactly, it is a dude. possibility. Like, think about it. God. Wrap your mind around that. Every time it feels the touch of carbon. Just like, oh, I'm hard, I'm hard now. Uh-oh, immediate reaction. <laughs> Bye-bye. What if that's how it was, though? I mean, it could be. Like, like there's, there's nothing saying that, like, something does not exist until you look at it or until it's observed. Oh, like, like, like there's, there's nothing proving that my room is still there when i leave it yeah like it could just disappear and as soon as i walk walk in it could just Mm -hmm. reappear you know yeah all right this is my last one oh Um, fuck saying the word cringe is the cringiest thing you can do <laughs> no, because I mean, you can do some cringe, cringy shit. No, but like, like, hey, this is cringy. No, right? but like, imagine like a guy who's just constantly like, oh, that was cringe. Ooh, uh, that's so, oh, man, I'm cringing. Imagine a guy constantly saying the word cringe. Yeah, yeah, it'd be cringing. Yeah, yeah. Just like, expand your vocabulary. 
do something. Yeah, start saying faggot. Me check my tapicos. I love tapatio. Uh, dude, I had tacos last night. Tapatio, Fuck. actually. Oh, retard. shit. Yeah. My bad, dude. Well, maybe if you stop uh, culturally appropriating those people. Maybe if you stop being through your poop dick. I'll think about it. <laughs> hey, um, hot take. Wikipedia is a reliable source for that you can cite. Yeah. Yes. You know, teachers I, just want to say it's not so like kids have a harder time. Yeah. Really? Like that's it. That's all, all the primary sources are listed at the bottom of the article. Mhm. It's use that. That's such a weird reason. Yeah. Like it it's too easy. It needs to be hard. Like, isn't that the fucking point of advancing technology for shit to be easier? Well, I, I think, like, all the kids who caught on, it's just like, oh, Wikipedia is just a curator for stuff that I can look into. Mm. You just scroll down, check the primary source, and cite that. True, yeah. Um, it's a godsend just for that alone. Yeah. I In uh, my so- sociology te- textbook, it cites Wikipedia. I read that. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Everything I've learned. Yeah, all the <laughs> fucking seven years of writing essays and shit. Like, no, I remember um, too easy. I remember like kids would like print out articles and like they would still have like the HTML like website link on the top. Like, I wrote this. Oh yeah, are kids stupid? Uh, kids just don't know that the world isn't stupid. Yeah, I think that's, that's it. Fair. I, I'm pretty sure I did that once, but it wasn't because I was trying to trick them. It was just like, oh, this is due tomorrow, and I had a week to do it. Here, Oops. let me print out some websites. Here you go. Yep. I've, I I I read them. I know <laughs> what's in it. Yeah. The more I look back on schooling and shit, the more I realize it's not, it's not like what you're actually being taught is important. It's how it... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, like... You, uh, the point of school is like to instill some kind of like work ethic. Yeah, values. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Like yeah, every time I think back, it's like if I gave just even a little more of a shit, mm-hmm. things will be different. But would they? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. All right, Brandon. Yes. Can you? Um... Oh shit. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. See you guys next week. All right. Later. Do you think people can like redeem themselves? It's it's a weird way to phrase it, but do you know how there's like so like if Hitler didn't die, but yeah, then he became like a humanitarian, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> like I think it'd be a little. Well, in that case, I think it'd be a little too late for that. Oh yeah. Well, that's <laughs> he committed genocide. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was. This kind of came 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 up to me because in this uh, current political climate, like if you are not outed but disliked for a certain act, action or word you say or some shit, like is there any way for you to like? Oh, in, um, in terms of like the public today, eye, I, guess, I yeah. think people's attention spans are so short that they'll forget. Hmm. Unless you really fucked up. Yeah. But let's say it's like with uh, Louis. Louis C.K. I think his in his particular case, there's a chance for people to forgive him or forget. Because you know, he didn't really like... It, it was different than it like different. Wine, wine scene. He, he, it's different. he just got swept up. Yeah. And what's weird about that, I want to say most of the occurrences where people came forward, it was years ago. Like, he didn't yeah, do it yeah. in the last five, I want to say ten, but that's probably yeah. stretching it. Yeah. A while back. Yeah. It's just a bummer because that happened right when Weinstein and Spacey mm-hmm. were breaking. So you would see his name lumped in with those. Yeah. So it made it look a lot worse. Yeah. I feel like he's going to bounce back. All he's got to do is make a new hit special on where he, Netflix. Where he talks about Thank it. Thank you for Netflix for sponsoring the Little Boys Room podcast. Check our new show, The the Little Boys Do L.A., <laughs> where we go to singer's pool parties. We, we, we and did. And we, we hang out. We fo- photo shoot naked. Mm. Little dicks. New X-Men movies. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh... <laughs> 
fuck. This is bad. <laughs> That's all right. Should we talk about Avengers? Spoiler free? I mean, if you haven't seen Avengers yet, then you you weren't going to. Very true. It's been, what, almost two weeks? Almost, yeah. I've, next week will be two weeks. Yeah. Probably when, 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 when this, this comes drops, from, it'll, it'll be, be two. two. Yeah. <sighs> How did you feel about Avenger? Avenger. Age of in, Infinite all Age of off. Thor 2 Ragnarok. <laughs> Ragnagroot. <laughs> I I am Peter Quill. <laughs> I thought it was really good. I watched it uh, for the second time yesterday. Uh, yeah, you told me about that. It was just as good. Yeah. Uh, like was it better a second time? Eh, no. Would I would did say it's it, did just it, as Did enjoyable. you feel that thing you do when you see a movie in the theater like multiple times where it's like, oh, this is kind of slow because you know. Actually, no, no. Okay, that's good. I was uh, knowing where it was going kept it feeling the same pace as when you watch it through okay. the first time. You know what I really like about that movie is like Thanos is the main fucking character. Yeah. Everyone else is like a side character. Yeah. It's his story. That makes sense, too, because we've gone through 10 years yeah. of being with all these characters. You need to flesh out the big bad. Yeah, the new like, character. Yeah. And they did a really good fucking job with him. Actually, dude. I have something very interesting about Avengers. I have the um, amount of screen time each character got. Oh, really? And I'm going to read you the top five. Probably Thanos. Oh, hold on. Let me find it. Let me find it. Brandon, keep the uh, keep the audience um, uh, distracted while I pull this up. So last week, I found it. I was finger. Oh, <laughs> all right. We have a uh, Thanos with twenty nine minutes of the movie. Damn. Gamora with nineteen minutes and thirty seconds. Fucking really? Yeah. Um, Tony Stark with eighteen. Thor with fourteen minutes and thirty seconds, and Doctor Strange with eleven minutes and thirty seconds. Those are the top. Those are the top five. I I would not imagine Doc Doctor Strange being in that top. Then again, there's a lot of scenes where it's shared with people yeah, too, definitely. like Gamora I'm, and Thanos. Captain share. America only has seven minutes of screen time, which is weird. That is weird. Well, he doesn't play. He doesn't really fucking do anything in the movie. No, he just fights. It's kind of. All right. You know what I noticed? I noticed there were spots in the film where they deliberately extended a cut just because you know there there'd be claps. Yeah. Like when he steps out from the shadows. <laughs> dun, 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 that's dun, the guy dun, I know. Yeah. Spider Man gets gets a suit. Yeah, let me stand Dude, up. Dude, that's what that's what I kind of don't like about Marvel movies. Like I remember watching Civil War and I was like, this is fine in the theater, but I watched it on Netflix again, mm -hmm. like by myself. And there are moments where they like they do a joke and they kinda like Pause on it. Yeah. For laughter. Like, they they stay on it just a little bit. Hmm. Like, funny quip. And, and, then, and then it cuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's... There's a lot of that during the um, airport scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's... I wouldn't say it's a shame, but it's it's weird when stuff is made with the audience in mind. Yeah, All, yeah. It always should, should be, but... No, it's it's weird when it's like it's made knowing that you that's knowing the audience will react in a particular yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's I feel like it should be like just let them react and how they react, they mm -hmm. react, you know. But yeah, that for sure affects viewings not cuz that it it was cut that 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 way and that long for like theater viewing. Theater. Theater. On a Tuesday, <laughs> but when you go home and you watch that shit on net Netflix, it's it, like oh yeah, it's this kind feels of weird. weird. Yeah, the pacing's a little weird. I felt the same thing with the Flash show. I was trying to catch catch up on that on I, net. I've Netflix. never seen it. It's I, I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> Barry, you were. <laughs> Barry, your family loves you. No, but it wasn't. No, but Barry, oh okay. the Speed Force. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's pretty much the show, and I didn't know what bothered me about it until i told a friend he was saying oh because like story develops the same exact way each i think i think they do that so it's like when people come in and watch the show with no prior knowledge they can be like oh i get it well that and when you have it debuted once a week you forget yeah, that definitely. you saw the same thing mm -hmm. last week you know so they they have the villain and then they have the 
confrontation with the fam family and then that's they have why the like resolution the netflix shows they're made of like binge watching in mind you know yeah. what i mean they're like oh you're watching this in one sitting anyway so we don't need cliffhanger to, cliffhanger yeah. cliffhanger cliff we can just do whatever yeah have you watching uh have you been watching the netflix shows like disjointed and the ranch and shit like the the sitcoms that are made oh no for netflix it's weird because they're cursing and shit, and they're saying, like, fuck, and all... I feel like in terms of, like, sitcoms and comedies, uh, having to censor yourself, there's, like, a there's like a type of humor that comes from that. Mm-hmm. Like, with South Park and the bleeps, like, mm-hmm. it's funnier with the bleeps for me. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Is it because, like, your brain knows, like, oh, this is, like, raunchy, so it's like, yeah. ha, ha, ha. Yeah. I, I think that's it. It kind of keeps the, the edge there because, you yeah. know, like, ooh, ooh, they shouldn't be saying this. Yeah, yeah. But then you, on the flip side, you get the shows that are, like, they not try and be clean, but they're, for the most part, just clean mm-hmm. as fuck. I don't know. Like, I guess that's funny for some people. It, it can be funny if the writing's good enough, I think. Yeah. What's a good exam- example of a, a clean show that's funny? Well, clean in what terms? No cursing. Uh, rare, if not at all, like sexual suggestions and shit. Ooh, I don't know about rare. Suge- like, I know shows that are like they have raunchy ideas, but not a lot of like Scrubs. Mm, mm-hmm. That's good. A lot of sex in that show. Definitely. And that was what ABC and NBC, NBC and then ABC. Yeah. Hmm. That '70s show. Yeah. That's a show that I think like a laugh track works in favor of because yeah. it feels so silly. Hmm. It works. You need some backing for the the goofiness. Yeah. Uh, well, do you have true. any in mind? Big Bang Theory? Is that good? <laughs> no. That's have I you ever it. seen the videos where they take out the laugh track? No. Oh, my God. It's so awkward. Hell bad. Yeah. Because it's just like they're pausing for jokes. Yeah. See, that's yeah. weird. It's fucking weird. It's just silence. It's just, fucking great. So did they just have one, like, group of get like folks just laugh and then they use that for i want to think so i don't think they do it live yeah yeah like when they record sitcoms like they don't have an an audience i I think back in the day they did yeah like i know fresh prince was live i think but like bill cosby wasn't or was most likely when he was raping girls Yo, he got fucking convicted. Did you see that video of him walking down the street? And, and he, he like does the yeah. I saw a video where like they put it to that lean back song. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Uh, why? Why did he do that? Was he like I don't tripping? Know. Maybe there was a bug near him. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? The vine? Yeah. The rat? Oh, it's so uh, good. Classic. <laughs> classic Cosby. Let's get him on the podcast. <laughs> Why'd you do it, Bill? Why'd you do it, Bill? I need a fucking answer, Bill. Oh, my God. Do you remember that show he made for Nick Jr.? Little, Little Bill. Bill. <laughs> Little Bill. Yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> that show would never be the same. Oh. <laughs> I developed a conspiracy theory Here about kid shows. And do you know how there's what, like, like the... Indoctrination? It's in, 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 indoctrination for like the pedophile ring in Hollywood. Like all these weird cart cartoon edge uh-huh. educational shows and shit that you you can get on these like off off brand fucking i iPads and shit, they're all just like they have key buzzwords to like train kids. Oh, to are you be talking sub- about the submissive. shit on like YouTube and shit? Yeah, dude, there's a yeah, fucking, there was a big thing about that, right? Fucking Elsa Gate or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a lot of like videos aimed at kids featuring like featuring fro- kids and Frozen characters and like Spider Man and shit, and it's like. Weird shit. I think we talked about this off the podcast. We, yeah. There's like weird shit like involving like kidnapping and like tying them up and like shit, like literal poop. I remember hearing like little boy a lot or just like just like making like adults saying like, oh, little boy. Yeah. Like, it's just like, I don't know if it's weird because I think of I could. No, that's think, unsettling, think dude. Yeah, it's. But kids, when they're young, like they don't know that they're they could be sexualized like that. Oh yeah, they definitely. don't know that like little boys or girls also can be there's hot. um the YouTube kids app. I don't know if it's still a thing, but a lot of a lot of the shit is on that app. Yeah, because it's like the certain al- how the algorithm works. Mm-hmm. And yeah. um, one time, um, I was at my aunt's house in Sacramento. 
mm-hmm. and uh, my little cousin, he has an iPad. Mm-hmm. He was watching YouTube, and he was watching a video. It was like some like crudely animated thing featuring like SpongeBob and like some other shit. Mm-hmm. And there's just the part of the video where there's like a minute or two of just like a loud ringing noise, like a high pitched like you know oh, like the, the emergency fuck? broadcast yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "What are you watching?" And he was like, "Nothing." And I was like, "Give me your iPad." And I like took it. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" It, that's that. Uh, that's all it was. Yeah, just, like, just a like still picture in the. It was like unsettling. I was like, oh, "I don't like this." And I deleted the app. I was like, "You can't watch this yeah. anymore." Yeah, I don't. Uh, it, it like all. Click, and he like click freaked the... out. That was his drug, man. Yeah, dude. Mm. I, I can't imagine having like access to a tablet. As that at that age, I. I I don't want my kids to have. Oh, definitely. A, but the thing is, you you say that, but then they're gonna go out. My with friends kids. have them. Exactly. Yeah. Why? Why don't I have it? And you can't say your friends are dumb because then they're gonna be like, "Oh, my dad said you're dumb," and then they don't <laughs> have friends, and then you're that yeah. asshole dad, you know. And then you gotta deal with the it's crying tough. Fucking we kid. had it easy because like tech, one, technology wasn't really a big. thing. It was thing. coming up. Like at most, we had like, a family computer. Exactly. Back in the day, yeah. You it's Game easy, Boy easier to monitor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because. Y- as a kid, you weren't using it the most. Yeah. With iPads, with like personal devices, they're using it. Yeah. The most. And it's easy, to just like here. Yeah, that's take it. That's the saddest part. Yeah. And to to be fair, it's not just the kids. Like you'll be in a rest restaurant, and like the moms and dads are like On they're f- doing the one finger swipe. They you know like yeah, yeah. how old folks use phones. Arms they're holding cu- it out. Yeah. Just. The longest swipe yeah. of their finger, their arm extends all the way up. I've been trying to make a point not to use my phone at like dinner. Or I try to do that yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, like whenever I pull my phone out, Ashley's like, <clears throat> "Yeah, what the fuck are you doing, bitch?" You you will take take the lead though. Like if you're out and someone's yeah. on the you're like, "Fuck it then." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of it's sad. Yeah, it, you know it's weird. I. Don't always feel the need to be on my phone, but I'll feel a weird urge to if I see someone else is on their phone. Yeah, I'm like, it's like, oh, it's okay now. Yeah, like, what's my 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 shit doing? What memes do I have to look at? Yeah, yeah, like, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I've noticed this with Adriel. Like, we'll be chilling, or like, we does, used does he pull we, out his we phone? Used to, we used to be chilling. Well. I won't pull my phone phone out. He'll pull his his out, and then I'm like, okay, phone time. Like, <laughs> so then we just chill for a bit. How do you feel about, um, let's say you're having a conversation with someone. And someone pulls their phone out? Like in the middle of Fuck it. Fuck that person. I, I, I don't I, know anyone who's doing that. Or if there's a lull in the conversation, is that okay? Yeah, I guess so. It. I mean, think about when we were kids and we'd, we'd be with our friends. We'll talk some shit, and then we'll just be quiet for like 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the same thing. Like same now, exact thing. Now we just have phones. It really does depend on the conversation too. Like let's let's say you're in a car ride yeah. and you're talking and then he pulls pulls his fine. phone out. Like I'm not gonna like, hey bud, like you're <laughs> talking to me. But if it's like a face face to face. If we're sitting at a table. Yeah. 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 If, and like I'm talking to you about my my dead uncle. Yeah. Oh, let me post about Oh, that. I'm so sad. That's so dude, I'm so yeah. sorry. That's so fucking sad. Just like, oh my god, I can't believe that you uh would go through that. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's yeah, so I fucking love that meme. <laughs> um, you speak speaking of dead. Um, oh no! <laughs> how do you feel about when people will post like not a eulogy, but like they'll be like, "Oh, my dad died," and they'll do like an Instagram post or like a face Facebook post. Uh, I think you know the grieving process is different for everyone. So yeah, you know, true. more power to you. I'm not gonna be the guy like, "Oh wow, you're using your yeah. fa- dead family's fucking uh, your <laughs> your mourning and loss as a way to get likes on your social media." I'm not gonna be that guy. Yeah, because like that guy's an asshole. <laughs> but I mean, to be fair, it's a safe amount amount of likes, right? I mean, like, yeah, you're guaranteed. Guaranteed at least a hundo. Depending on guaranteed depending on your high double ditch. Double ditch. Double didgeridoos. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> there is, and um, yeah, I I feel like you can sense it. Yeah, between you can tell each. when it feels genuine yeah. and when it feels like, oh, feel bad for me. It's one thing when it's like, oh, my dad died, but then it's like my great aunt, second cousin's uncle died, like. Do you even see them at least once a year? Guys, know? my step 
dad's brother-in-law's fish died, and I'm really bummed about it. I just want to take this time to like think about how... Cherish all you have. It, life is so fragile, but so beautiful. <laughs> if you want any Xanax, DM me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Avengers. Uh, Avenger. Avenge me, daddy. Oh, oh yeah. All right, Brandon. Yeah. I have a question for you. Was that the question? What caused your sexual awakening? <laughs> <laughs> what? What caused your sexual awakening, Brandon? What made you realize you had a dick? Probably when my dick got hard. <laughs> Good Whoa, answer. what the fuck? Oh, man. I used to think that my penis was broken because it'd do that. My parents <laughs> never gave me the talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so one day... I'm ruined. I think... I, we might have talked about this before, no? What? The uh, the story that I'm about to tell. The one where you found Derek's uh, thing? No, no. Um, the one where you threw away Jell-O? No. I <laughs> want to say it was on the East, Easter one. But no, there was one day like I came home from playing, and I'm not sure what caused, caused me to break down, because I'm sure it like happened. It was playing, but I went to my mom's like, Mom, whenever I see how girls, my pee-pee gets on. <laughs> like, I was hella upset about it. She just started like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's call Alex. Wait, hold on, hold on. No, I got someone we could call. Okay, and then. Yeah, and that. then we'll call Alex. Okay. Hold on. I hope this fucking piece of shit answers. <laughs> I hope this fucking asshole answers, dude. Hello? Hey, what's, hey, what's up, up, dude? dude? Not much, man. What's up with you? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm doing a podcast. Oh, me too. <laughs> Crazy, where are Yeah, I? dude. I'm doing it this fucking asshole, though. I don't hey, really same like... here. I I should get you on instead. Yeah, I should get you yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll catch you later, man. All right, bro. See ya. Bye. Bye. Why did I know it was fucking coming? Because <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We, we, we got this. <laughs> you calling out? I'm calling Alex. <laughs> he's driving right now. Let's see if he's a he good driver. He won't answer. He won't answer. Right, well, let's, let's let's see. It's, he'll probably be on speakerphone too if he is. Should I just start saying cunt? Dick, 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 cunt, and dick, and dick, and cunt. He's not gonna answer. Cock and cunt is in like the same ballpark, right? Of like bad words. I think I cunt think cunt has like a more cunt a lot heavy. Oh, okay, cunt it's much more heavy, but it's cock? heavy here. Like in Australia, it's like a normal. Oh, cuss it's like word. saying fuck. Yeah. Oh, okay, I like that. Yeah, but like cock is like I feel like that's the most abrasive word for a penis, but it's not as abrasive as cunt. Like yeah, you, definitely. Like 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 you fucking cock. If you call someone a cunt, especially a girl, oh like, yeah, you people just, will be f- mad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not her, just people. Yeah, like, what the fuck, dude? Calm down, yeah. I... That dude's a cock. Mm. That dude's a cunt. See? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you call, call a girl a cock? I'm pretty sure I've called a girl a cock. You're a cock. I don't think I've ever said you're a cock. Well, I mean, cocksucker, but I'm trying to use that Yeah, word. but just like cock. You know what's weird nowadays? What? You can just say a word, and then if it's not a good word, like, you're just fucking done. What do you mean? Like context is not a thing. Oh, if you're like, yeah. Um, what's that extreme example? Social justice warrior? No, no, no. Like a fuck. I don't even know. I don't even know. Whatever. Yeah. Um, I was listening to some Sam Harris shit, and I was thinking, who's that? Sam Harris? Is that that singer? No, this this dude. He's like a. I guess intellectual would be the best way to put it. But his mom wrote, he either, she either wrote or created fucking Golden Girls. What the fuck? Yeah, but this dude's just like a, a good show. Like a philosopher type guy and stuff. And uh, he was talking about like Islam and Mus- Muslims and shit. And I was thinking like, like, even though he's going about this very like fact factually and objectively and he's not. Mm-hmm. Like being racist or nothing, like he's just going to be called a racist. Well, I mean, like even if you're going at it objectively, I think people are in their right to say like well, his objective thoughts or whatever the fuck can be seen as racist. But when he's using like statistics about, I know, shit but you can still, like you can still, like call him a racist. Yeah, I think so. 
All right, I got an, I got an, I got one for you. What Ooh. irrational fear do you have? Irrational fear. Irrational. Oof, that is a good one. Mm-hmm. But aren't all fears rational? Shut up, dude. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm scared of knives. <laughs> Scared of fears. I remember someone told me their friend was scared of napkins. How? Why? Like, either napkins or like the napkin dispenser. <laughs> One of those. One time it ate my hand. I just <laughs> didn't know what to do. I can think of like when you're in, when you're at like the edge of some, some, some shit, you're like high, high, high up. Mm-hmm. Think like, what if, uh, what if I just fell right now? Is that irrational? Is that like that's like a fear of heights? It's irrational if you're not doing something dangerous. Like, what if like this ladder just broke and like uh, I yeah, fell I guess weird? So. Or like, I will watch the the dock fall at work, and I just think like, what if I just put my hand in there at the last second, just broke ball? Oh, there's like a word for yeah. that. Like people who are like, what if I just drove into like, yeah, oncoming traffic right now? Yeah, yeah. Just like, what if I just stuck my hand in a moving? Blender. There's a name. I don't know what the name is. There's like a thing. Yeah. Um, well, I'm I'm afraid of me thinking like that. I don't okay. Know, like, what I if guess. like I get old one day and just actually do it? I think a common irrational fear for especially uh, younger kids is um when you're at the grocery store and you're in line and your mom <laughs> leaves to get something else like last minute. Yeah. Hold my spot. Are you, you gonna pay in, for you this? Inch, you inch closer to the cash register, mom. Please. Yeah. yeah. And then he starts to scan your food, and he just <laughs> stares at you like, I don't, I don't got money. <laughs> You're going to jail. Oh, God. You're going to jail. <laughs> Hold on. We have a caller. Jesus. Fuck. Yo, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Hey. What's up, man? You call me? Yeah, I called you. Uh, yeah, sorry. My phone's like almost dead. What's up? Uh, You're on the podcast, bud. You're on the podcast, bud. I'm on the podcast. Yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm going to be back in town in like 45 minutes. When did you guys start recording? We'll, we'll be done by the time you get into town. Later. Here's my topic. Uh, why is no darker? And okay, bye. <laughs> I Why is Thermos darker? <laughs> is that is that what he said? I don't know. I heard Thanos. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I hope I hope he gets mad on the road and crashes his car. <laughs> fucking, they never take me seriously. So, do you have an irrational fear? Um, <laughs> castration. I guess that's not irrational. Then what, what does irrational mean? Like I'm scared of uh, chocolate bars. No, I'm not. Okay, great. I'm not scared of spiders. I'm not scared of little shit. It's fine. You know what I'm scared of? What? Being on fire and getting my dick cut off, <laughs> my hands crushed, all in one go. I have a fear that um, the whole time I've actually been like retarded, <laughs> and, and everyone's just been like really nice to me my whole life, and they're like, "Oh, good job." <laughs> <laughs> See, like, that's an irrational fear. Would Would my fear of uh, smelling bad be irrational? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, Your fear of bo. Not B.O., just smelling bad, just, you know. Yeah, You don't I guess have that. to smell like B.O. I mean, you can smell like dog, dog shit. That's not B.O., but that Whatever. still smells bad. Whatever, yeah. Yeah, that's irrational, I guess. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, I got I got some more questions for you. All right, hook them up. All right. Hook me up with yeah, well, them questions. I'm about to hook you mouth. up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I can't focus. <laughs> Why can't you focus, Aston? Because you're distracting me. Why can't you focus, Aston? Aston, focus. Um, do you have anything? God. What, dogs? Dogs are cool. God is dog. The fuck did you just say? God is dog. Put it backwards. <laughs> put it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking winded. Put it, put it backwards. Last words, dying breaths. Put him back. Put him back. <laughs> what did he mean? <laughs> you just see dogs for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> gotta, gotta put the dog back. Oh, fuck. Oh.
I want to talk to you about um, the idea we had to do uh, movie commentaries. Yeah. I have some uh, things we can watch written down here. What? There's, I found a movie with Charlie Sheen, and it's a, it's, it's upon 9-11. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> Why does this sound familiar? He's like stuck in an elevator. The one that didn't collapse, or like... no, like <laughs> during the. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. They're like, it... oh, they're in the World Trade Center, and they're taking the elevator, <laughs> and like it stops, and they're like, oh, come on. <laughs> But you know what it is, <laughs> and like the whole movie is like, like the big twist. They find out it was a terrorist attack. Is... I don't know, but you know it's nine eleven. Like the movie's called like that or some shit. And nine eleven, um, the elevator. Charlie scene. Sheen's in it, and then Whoopi Goldberg plays like a security guard or some shit. It's good, nice. Uh, would you be interested in watching that? Yeah. Okay. I have watched a... fucking any- anything. We should review porn. That'd be funny. <laughs> review his technique. <laughs> would you? Would you come doing that? No, not at all, Jim. I I need a behind the scenes dog. His insertion was good, but his continued thrusting I'm not a fan of. It's getting real sloppy down there. His form, his back is too arched. He's sweating too much. It it shouldn't take this much effort, man. He's using too much of the forearm. I believe he should be using more of the tricep. Would you agree? Eh, Yeah, 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 I'd agree agree with that. But if if he would post up on his fingertips, that would give him. The flexibility and the mo- mobility. This that is he where needs. that core training this summer kicks in. You know what I'm saying? You see that? You see his eyes? Perfect I'm technique. Trying. Perfect fucking technique. I got jizz on my pants. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> I got jizz on my pants too. Fuck. <laughs> All right, the next, uh, the next film, or is it a film? Because uh, it's a TV show. Oh, fuck! Is um, <laughs> 13 Reasons Why. <laughs> oh, I'm so down. I'm so down. I'll rip that show apart. I stab it around the, around the fucking. Mm-hmm. Um, have you heard of the movie Birdemic? Birdemic? <laughs> no. It's one of the shittiest movies I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's so good. It's exactly what you what it sounds like, but bird. Like it's not even shitty CGI birds. It's like someone took a bird in like Microsoft Paint <laughs> and like recorded themselves. Like cropping it out and like dragging it to make it look like it's flying. That's what it looks like in the movie. <laughs> it's really fucking good. I'm down. I'm down for that. Um under that I have um The Avengers. <laughs> but it's the nineteen seventy eight version. <laughs> <laughs> the show wait, no. There's a movie from like nineteen seventy eight. Yeah. Fuck. And like Iron Man looks like <laughs> Like, I'm not, I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull up a picture. All right, all right. The kids at home look up Avengers 1978 and then type in Iron Man after that. <laughs> You're gonna see something beautiful. Oh, I just typed in Avenger. Avenger. Avenger man. <laughs> There's a movie called Crippled Avengers. Oh fuck. What the fuck? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you ready to see what Iron Man? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, dude. Describe what Iron Man looks like in that Avengers film. He, he looks like a giant, like, like orange trash can with like <laughs> ventilation arms. I can't tell if he has claws or not, and and they call him the Iron Man. He looks like a bootleg Nokia phone. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, why you? Do you know um? Oh, what was it? Which one? Why does kid? Could you know? Yeah. The sex robot. Oh my god! He looks like that. He looks like fucking sex robot. <laughs> he looks like the big daddies from Bioshock. <laughs> <laughs> what the? F- oh. yeah, I'll be down to watch that. Yeah. Um, another film I have. Under I wonder here. if they fight Thanos. <laughs> Just immediately. <laughs> Um, Halloween Resurrection. The th- the fourth Resurrection or the third? No, no, no. I think Halloween Resurrection <laughs> is like the fifth or sixth movie. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. You know who's in that movie? Jamie Lee Curtis? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if she's she in is. one of them. She's in three of them, I think. Yeah, as like grown, too. I think that's H- Halloween H20 or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if she's in Resurrection, but... 
You know who is in it? Who? Busta Rhymes. Busta fucking Rhymes. It's the movie where they're like, oh, we have a bunch of people in a spooky haunted house and we're recording the whole time because it's the early 2000s and technology's a thing now. And, I don't um, remember that. It's like, oh, yeah, a spooky house. Who's going to win the money? And then <laughs> Mike Myers from Shrek shows up and starts killing people. <laughs> And he wins. Yeah, the end. Oh, my God. But, yeah, Busta Rhymes is in it, and he has one of the most amazing scenes. He fights Michael Myers. like Head he fights, on? Like, he fights him. I bet he's like, hey, I'm only going to do this film if you let me fight Michael Myers. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mr. Rhymes. <laughs> Mr. Rhymes. Run away, Mr. Rhymes. We're, we're going to break through that demographic. <laughs> that one demographic we want really bad that you <laughs> might be able to help us with. You know what I'm saying. Hey, you know. You know. That one. <laughs> NBA. <laughs> yeah, that one. Because you're black. You know what, he's black? <laughs> you let him in the movie? <laughs> we talked about this, Jerry. I'm sorry. I just love the chocolate skin. <sighs> I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> the next movie I have under that. Can I uh, place one? Oh, yeah, Ryan. What's your suggestion? Ghost of Mars. What the fuck is that? With 50 Cent. Holy shit. Is that the movie where he gets uh like AIDS? There's like a movie where he gets cancer or AIDS and he's like he lost a bunch of weight for it. What? Yeah. No, Ghost of Mars, the sci fi film and they're on Mars? Yeah, and then he gets cancer. AIDS? I, I don't think AIDS is cancer. I like the like, same thing. But... I said AIDS or cancer, I don't remember. Oh, because one's more important, huh? Yeah, you privileged, you're the fucking you privileged piece you of privileged shit. Privileged guy living with AIDS. I have cancer. <laughs> I couldn't help this. You could. You can't keep your dicks out of your butt. <laughs> keep your dicks out of your syringes and your syringes out of your asses. Ghost of Mars. I'm gonna look look this up. Right no, now. but there was a movie where Fifty Cent lost a bunch of weight so he could look like he had a disease or some shit. <laughs> Got that gangstalicious disease. <laughs> Straight thugging. Can't have no weight. Why? So carrying around that magic stick all day long. <laughs> oh, 50 Cent? Why was I thinking Ice Cube the entire time? An ice... Can you imagine a film where Ice Cube loses weight? Oh, wait. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm putting Triple uh, X2 on here. Oh, <laughs> State of the Union! Yeah. Down. Fuck. I'm just writing down all the Triple X movies. <laughs> a Triple X marathon? <laughs> oh, fuck yes. Dude. Why is Google Chrome not working? I don't know. I need, I need a okay. Towel. Um, another one I have. Can you? We're recording. It's four weight though. A hey, hey, yeah. You know, Mac Dre's my godfather. <laughs> Jesus. <Christ. laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> You ever this before? <laughs> Dude, me and my brother make fun of that shit all day. People are like, yeah, man, I love the Bay Area. Mac Dre all day, man. It's so funny. They have they have those Mac Dre shirts. <laughs> like, we get it. You're from here. Stop. Yeah. What else is a telltale sign that you're from the Bay? You have no money. <laughs> yeah. It's okay to live with your family at this age. <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you have a telltale sign? Uh, I can't really think of one. Like one that I could apply to all a large group. Yeah, Ghost of Mars, two thousand one. Twenty one oh, on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, so it wasn't fifty cent, you fucking racist. I said ice cube, didn't I? Yeah, like an hour after we were saying fifty cent all day. Really? Type in 50 Cent Cancer Movie. (laughs) (laughs) Cancer Movie. Cancer Meme. Cancer Diet. All Things Fall Apart. Yeah, that's what it is. I just imagine it. Oh, God. Yeah, he lost a bunch of weight for that movie. Doesn't look the same. I was thinking, like, him just, like, talking with his voice. Oh, I got cancer. <laughs> Can't op- open his mouth. Why do I feel like films will do like uh, more well, <laughs> better than uh, they will do better if like someone loses a lot of weight 
where there's like a dramatic change in appearance. Oh, it's kind of like uh, like method acting stuff. Yeah, yeah, it adds to the allure. Allure. Yeah. Whatever the fuck how you say it, whatever. I guess. Um, another movie I have on here is uh, the Mummy, I starring like Brandon movie. Fraser. I love that movie. Yeah. I love that movie too. I think it'd be a fun one. Okay, cool. I was gonna say like, nah, nah. call. You calling that movie shit? You no, laughing? I fucking love that movie. Okay, good. The that's second one's pretty fight. okay, too. Uh, Scorpion King. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that's good. That ending fight fight scene is pretty... It looks really dumb now. Looking, oh, yeah. Because, like... The CGI. Especially, like, all the CGI is pretty okay until you see The Rock. Yeah. Because it's just, like, his upper torso on a scorpion's body. Yeah. It's so... Not very good. It looks like bad cut scene Yeah, it's animation. like a PlayStation 1 game. No, it's better. It's a that. PlayStation 2 game. It's a PlayStation 2 yeah, game. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. My mistake. It's a PlayStation 2 game. Shout out to Sony for sponsoring this podcast, huh? Sony! Shouts out! Put it in my bank account! They uh, destroyed your Xbox upstairs and replaced it with a PlayStation 3. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, 3. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, actually, you just got pull, those laying Pulling out. out all the stops. Well, let me play the fucking Uncharted series. <laughs> hey! Um, shout out to the Uncharted first. Oh, fuck, whatever. Nolan Francis Christopher Drake, man, doing the voice. Who's the guy who does the voice for him? Nolan North? Yeah. He does the voices for everything. Yeah. He does my voice. <laughs> The what? next movie I have on here is Airheads slash and or Biodome. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. 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 Airheads is an okay movie. It's fun. Yeah. That's the one with Steve Buscemi, Brandon Fraser, and Adam Sandler. And they're like in a band and they 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 have a tape and no one wants to hear it. So they take a radio station hostage. Oh, so yeah. So they'll play the tape. It's a good movie. I saw that meme from the, from the band on there. It's oh, like, there was an, oh shit. I think I saw that too. <laughs> yeah. I was like, is that Steve Buscemi on bass? Like, yeah. Oh, all right, this is a joke. Steve Buscemi, uh, Brendan Fraser, and Adam Sandler. What? Those are the guys in the movie. Oh, sorry. I was reading what, my text. What the fuck? <laughs> sorry, my... Where the fuck did you go? <laughs> did you get teleported into your phone to read that? You were gone for a while. Completely out of the conversation. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, man? It was with our guest. We're like, you know, I have a hot take right now. Adam Sandler movies, like his bad ones, aren't even that bad. No, they're not. They're fine. I feel like he got some weird effect where it was just hate on him. Like this is what everyone's doing. So might as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I didn't really care for his uh, later films that came out early 2010s, like the one with uh, not Kristen Dunst, uh, Drew Barrymore. When they 50 go, first dates that's no, not no, no 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 there was another one there they was had another one, one? is they, it the one where they went to like africa or some shit no type in adam sandler africa movie adam sandler cancer movie did that really come up cancer cartoon what? movie oh is that 50 50 no funny people right that's it i don't think i've ever seen funny people it's uh, i heard the first half good yeah and then you it's, think we could get adam sandler on the podcast i'm sure he'd be down so many films he did just go with it with Jennifer Aniston. That's who it was. And it was like a, I don't know, like a rom-com, but it wasn't really romantic. It was like comedy with a character who's in a yeah. relationship. Yeah. But then he did that. Oh, I forgot he did that. That's my boy. That, oh, I didn't see him. I didn't see that. I didn't see that either. Well, I guess he was doing the grown ups. Oh, that's the one. Blended. Oh, I knew he did one with her. Well, he did another one with her, uh, 50 First Dates, yeah. back in 2004. Yeah, remember that. Pixels. Jesus. Oh, Pixels. Is, I haven't seen it, but it looks so bad. Yeah, he did a couple. There was, like, in the middle of... I hear that, um, over. the Mer- Mary Rose story one. Yeah. I hear that one's good. Uh, Dustin Hoffman. Not, not mm. Dustin Hoffman, uh... Dustin Hoffman? Is it Dustin Hoffman? Mm-hmm. Dustin Hoffman, uh, Adams, uh, Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. I hear they're really good in that. I hear that's good. Hmm. The week off, yeah. Who did he play in fucking Hotel Transylvania? He's the main vampire. Oh, good for him. I guess those are doing well. I saw the first two with Ashley. They're all right. They're fun. They're fun movies. Punch, Punch Truck, Truck. That one's really good. Yeah. Super fucking that's good. That's a Paul Thomas Anderson. Yeah. I, I like his work. 
Very cool guy. Yeah, he seems Not cool. to be confused with Paul W.S. Anderson, who does yeah. all the Resident Evil movies. Or Wes An- Anderson. Um, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Boogie Nights, right. There Will Be Blood. Man, um... Phantom do you remember Thread. Paul W.S. Anderson did the Alien vs. Predator movie? Yeah, he did that? The first one. I didn't know that. Yeah. Hmm. That's why it was, a. Uh, it's better than the second one. Yeah. For sure. Sec- the second one was when it was in town, right? Yeah. That one's kind of dumb. Why can't they get those right? Yeah, I bet a lot of like studio interference, like, you need this so it'll sell. Oh. But the people who buy the tickets for these don't want that. Hey, and I also remember Fox being. Yeah, Fox on that. Yeah. I think they still. No, Disney has everything for Fox, I think, now. Even really? that. Yeah. Huh. Pretty wild. Um, are you secretly running an Instagram meme page? Why do you ask? I don't know. I've heard a couple things through the grapevine. The meme vine. The meme vine is fucking lying. Okay. Look, you look the other way. <laughs> Can yeah. you imagine finding out someone you know runs like one of those pages with like 20 million followers? Yeah. Crazy. Why do I feel like most of those pages are like kind of run by kids though? Like, is someone our age like really a meme dealer? Like, I, they're slanging memes. I think memes? so. Yeah, really. At least for the ones that we follow, the more uh, they have to be sophisticated ones anyway. The tasteful mayonnaise. Hmm. I have a refined palate. <laughs> <laughs> I like upper echelon memes. Mm. <laughs> The real, uh, new, real nice for me in my high IQ. I don't like tasting backyard memes. Backyard grown. Mm, I remember the summer. Mm. <laughs> it's weird. Memes have like, like there's different memes for diff- different cultures. Different memes for different dreams. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You get the fuck out of here. You get the fuck out <laughs> Uh... But yeah, I I feel like people running meme pages are probably between the ages of 19 to 25. Okay, yeah, fair enough. I'm not seeing like a 13-year-old boy unless it's a meme page dedicated to Fortnite or some shit. Yeah, which there for sure are. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's mm, that's weird. I bet if we were in school right now... We'd probably be running a meme page. <laughs> we'd be trying to. I feel like the whole school would. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's such a... Instagram took off while we were in school, right? I think so. I think I was still in high school. I remember being told to make one, and it was still hella basic. Might have might have been my senior year, I think. I made one, like, junior. Yeah. 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 That sounds about right. Yeah. You're apart. Mm-hmm. Do you see memes going away anytime no. soon? I just see it getting more and more ingrained into our normal society. I think I see them changing, but this format, I don't... Hmm. I think eventually the more surreal ones will gain, like... Headway. Yeah. Do you think, like, the entire world knows about memes? Like, like Can you imagine memes in, like, a different culture? Oh, my God. What is that even like? Like, Filipino memes? Like... Russian memes? Oh, yeah. When you hack the DNC server. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're so political. Oh, my God. I watch the news. <laughs> <laughs> You're so fuck off, <laughs> fuck off. You're so political. <laughs> hey, you watch Fox and Friends? It's my shit, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, Sean Hannity is my son's godfather. <laughs> he's, he's my poker buddy. We play. Me and Geraldo hang out on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck that guy. <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> fuck him and his dumb fucking mustache. Yes. Uh, who who has uh, Geraldo? <laughs> what kind of fucking name? Was he that? named that? Or he's like, you know what? My my, my stage, stage name. <laughs> this is what they all will remember me for. My legacy. <laughs> this is my legacy. <laughs> oh God. Gerald- <laughs> Devolving. Imagine, uh. imagine Geraldo. I'm just picturing him as like Batman. Geraldo, you've given them everything. Not yet. <laughs> Mustache pe- peeking <laughs> through the cowl. Wow, Geraldo, thanks for giving me the news. You don't have to thank me.
dude, do you remember that year where everyone was the Joker because that movie yes. came out? Fucking freshman year and my eighth grade year. Yeah, everyone was oh. the Joker. Like, were you guys not expecting that? Like, like, did they walk walk I into school and the spot hit five? Indie film, The Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> I bet no one in school seen this. Wow, Batman's such an underground character. <laughs> it's really edgy. I bet no one likes this. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I bet that was a moment where people realized, like, oh shit, there's like. I'm just part of a world. This isn't my world. Yeah. Like, oh, there's other people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they like things to Oh, oh fuck. shit. <laughs> Everyone's calling their mom to go home. I gotta change. By the end of the day, there were no jokers. It was weird. <laughs> I remember one time at school, I forget who, but I was like on the rail. It was eighth grade. Someone mm-hmm. threw a marble at my head. And like, <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold yeah. on. Set the scene, Brandon. Okay. Set the scene. Set the scene. You're sitting on a railing, like for a portable classroom, like the flag flagpole. Do you know? Um, you were sitting on the flagpole. No, do you know? You were that one song, <laughs> flagpole. Soda? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Song. It's a good song. No, uh, do you know the flag flagpole that's up the two flights of steps? On oh yeah, Morel. I was to the right of that on the the handicap walking platform thing. I think I was chilling with with a friend. And someone came up, and I wouldn't doubt it if I like, yeah, it's like <laughs> classic assholey. Brandon yeah, shit, classic Brandon shit. And he's like, what? what? And I was just, you know, like a assholey back and forth ex- exchange. Yeah. And I think I think he like pump faked throwing the marble or some shit. And I was like, do it. And he threw it, and I didn't flinch. It hit my fore- forehead, <laughs> shot straight up in the air. I swear to God. And he was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I played it off. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, mm-hmm. better run. Yeah. yeah, you're fucking right. That just happened. <laughs> like, that was your doing. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's weird. Like, it, it <laughs> didn't hurt. I didn't flinch. It just threw it. Like, a vertical, like, yeah. like a right angle, like. I'm just picturing your smug ass. <laughs> first. Yeah. Yeah. The dude was surprised. Like, what the fuck? I'm like, mm-hmm. That's like some shit you would see during like the first 15 minutes of like an X-Men movie. <laughs> like you cut to like some kid. Oh, I'm a mutant now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking freak. Get out of here, Marble Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. Did I tell you about the one time I... uh? Called out an earth earthquake in class. <laughs> was there no earthquake? No. So, uh, soft sophomore I year. I feel like. Well, hold on. I feel like that'd be real easy to call bullshit on. No <laughs> earthquake. Uh, no, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Brandon. So check this shit out. <laughs> so, like, I think it was junior year or soft. Oh my soft, god, you weren't even a baby. Year. Never mind. No, like we had an earthquake the day before, but uh, I was in the. The, the stretch of rooms that fucking wood wood shop was at. Oh, yeah. So, like, you heard shit on the, the ceiling or roof shake first. I'm like, are they doing con- construction? And then it shook. Uh-huh. So the fucking next day, I was in my English class, and I heard the same noise. I was like, earthquake. I'm like, what? And then it all started to shook. <laughs> and, they all, and then you're <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did that. It would have been great if you got into an argument with someone, like, right it. before that. And then you were like, no! <laughs> 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 oh shit geez yeah you're right Man, i'm sorry uh, but yeah i was cool for like a week <laughs> you earthquake man <laughs> you, fucking... you know when earthquakes are gonna strike two seconds before it happens <laughs> <laughs> real, Not fucking, enough real fucking helpful <laughs> hey guys <laughs> oh shit <laughs> Oh, you're so fucking <laughs> cool, man. Uh, I'm trying to think of some, some <laughs> other cool times. When I had my af- af- afro, I felt pretty cool. Man, I lo- I was low-key mad when you grew that thing out, because I remember for years, Brandon, grow your hair out, grow your hair out. You know, a little dumb. And then you did it. You, you told me to? Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> you didn't have a, 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 you didn't have a pussy. That that's why. Oh shit! When a pussy tells you to grow your hair out, guess guess what you do? Guess what you get got? <laughs> guess you what get, you get done? Your hair. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was uh my girlfriend at the time, officer. What was? <laughs> where is she, Brandon? <laughs> I haven't seen her in three years. <laughs> Who knows? What? She could be dead in the ditch. <laughs> Dead in this particular ditch right here next to my house. <laughs> Maybe that one. Check that one. I don't know. Oh, the winky dink. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> Is that the phone? I got to get out of here. <laughs> Can someone take, take off these bracelets? And <laughs> my wrist is... These, these bracelets don't match with my vibe that I'm putting out. Can you take them off? <laughs> my chakras are all in this <laughs> line. <laughs> My chakras, my aura is all off today, guys. <laughs> if it seems like I'm guilty, it's just my aura. <laughs> oh, okay. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> you said aura, right? <laughs> Can you spell that? <laughs> oh, fuck. What else did I do in high school? Do you see yourself going to your 10 year high school reunion? Maybe as a bit. I don't know. <laughs> as a bit. It was a joke. <laughs> hey, see, everyone. Hey, me being unsuccessful right now was all a bit, guys. It's all I, a got bit. You. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> it was all a bit. Hey Tammy, I didn't even fucking like you. <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Trying to remember if we went to school with a Tammy. <laughs> I don't think we did. No, I don't know. We probably did. Fuck. It wasn't you. <laughs> like, like they're listening. What if the Everyone, little, what if the little boys' room had a panel? But at, our, at the high school reunion. Oh my god. Hey, do you remember that time you were being such a complete fucking piece of shit, Brandon? No. I do. <laughs> <laughs> if someone wanted us to die, it'd be there. They'd go up. Like, yeah, I got a question. <laughs> <laughs> Who's stinky now? <laughs> Who's the dumb dumb now? <laughs> Would you go? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I've been thinking about this thought came in my mind a couple of weeks ago. I mean, ago. it's not like it's ten years away. Oh, five. Holy fuck. Oh shit. We were just in high school five years ago. So that means there's five more. So when when we go fucking five. Dude, it's been plus six five. for me. Oh, you're close, boy. You're close. Yeah, I don't think I would go. I would go to yours, maybe. Your your class is pretty. My cool. class is tight. Yeah, our class was like not tight. No man's land in really? Gotham, dude. It was bad. <laughs> I don't think like when I look at your guys's class and like the senior class when we were freshmen, mm-hmm. when I was, like I just didn't feel like we were as connected as you guys were. Or or it could be I didn't feel connected with them. Maybe that that's probably the more plausible situation but then it's easy to go a few years into the few future and like re-see them yeah, all and be like hey we were all dumb and then did that happen no but i'm saying it could yeah. like at the 10 10 year mark i feel like that happens with age like you, you know how we all pretended to like forget about middle school yeah i feel like we're almost starting to think that about high school could just be me. I think I'm there. Yeah. I'm there already. Like, I'm already like, oh, that was fucking, that was dumb. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I've been there. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, uh, yeah. 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 Do you think people who had a good time in high high school and then left feeling like they did did good, do, mm-hmm. you, do, you, do you think they look back and, like, still feel like they did, did good? I feel like the people who do... Look back and feel like they do good are already on like a high career path. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. So they have. Yeah. 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 That's probably why they're on the high career path. Because like, I'm fucking smart as fuck, dude. And you know, a lot of it is just attitude too. Oh yeah. Because I, I for sure had a bad 
attitude throughout high it's, school. It's funny, uh, like thinking about about school, and you just see your like me- like mental state just get beat down. Yeah, like you come in so optimistic, dude. Yeah, and then by like sophomore year, you're like, get me out of here. It's yeah, like you hit rock bottom somewhere in in those four years, and yeah. that's 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 when you start being a person. I think mine was my freshman year of high school. Like I didn't care. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I would go to class and just put my head down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was mine. Well, your first year was at Indy. Huh? Yeah, it was at Indy. Uh, so like I basically had like all C's and F's. I feel like that's worse. There. Yeah. Yeah. So. My family was like, oh, well, we're transferring you to Piedmont now. Because your grades? Yeah. Hmm. I came in and I did pretty adequately. That's it. Pretty, pretty okay. Piedmont had good teachers. Uh, I feel like the environment wasn't good, but no high school environment yeah, is really think good. Unless you're like paying. <laughs> yeah. And even then. You can debate that it's not good. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Teachers were good. Um, like you said, everything else. School wise was, yeah. I loved how all the admin fucks considered every little thing an operation. Like, what like they were like, I was in the office one time trying trying to go home, saying I was a uh, sick. I'm <laughs> sick with the AIDS. And like, teach. there was a fight going on. AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have cancer. <laughs> I gotta be excused for the rest of teacher. These I have hemorrhoids. <laughs> I need to go home. They're bleeding. Owie. <laughs> <laughs> These hot chairs. <laughs> oh, I forgot how shitty the desks were. Mm-hmm. Ew. It was weird to get individual desks. Do you remember that? Do you remember that step? Because yeah. middle school is all like the it was shared. two like, desks put together. Two seat, yeah. Mm-hmm. You really got your uh, your freedom up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so fucking free. I fucking love it. What was I saying, though? Something about, uh, I don't know. Fuck it. The fuck? Get the fuck out. Who let you? Oh, hold on. Turn the mic on. Turn the mic on. Hey, guys. Sorry, it took me fucking forever to get here. Let's go another hour, Brandon. We got the boy. Wait, how long have you been going for? Uh, We've been here since like 12. Recording? No. We started, I don't know, that long ago. For the second one. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, is this monitor on? Oh, nope. <laughs> that would be why. Oh. Booyah. We have our first guest of the evening. <laughs> Say your name, ma'am. <laughs> Did I get you guys right when you were ending? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. You know why? Because I fucking was like, I'm going to drop you off. She's like, why are you going? I was like, I'm going to catch him right at the end of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. You missed out on some great conversation. What are you guys talking about? Fucking nothing. <laughs> no, I just, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> what was your topic that you were saying in the car? When oh, I, I was like, you? why is Thanos so much like more purple in the new that's, Infinity that's Wars movie. Thought, um, yeah. First of all, I'm going to drop some knowledge on your ass. It's, he's called Thermos in the comics, <laughs> all right? Fuck, get it right. Thermos. You know... Wait, he's, he's more purple in the trailer or in the movie? No, he's like more purple in like uh, the other Guardians movies. When well, you he see was him. also in space. So mm-hmm. there's yeah, like maybe the, his skin like oxidized. The spatial <laughs> hues. How was the bright shower? <laughs> it, was, it was good. Was I it lit? A, Lit fam. Damn. I was the only male. Did you pick up some bitches? <laughs> That's a yeah. If you mean my 80-year-old aunts. <laughs> Damn. You're wearing a um, Fiddler shirt. You're wearing a King Giz shirt. You're wearing a fucking button-up shirt. Like a I love that band. <laughs> button-up. The button-up shirts. <laughs> Laundry. <laughs> Brandon just like dead eye stared towards a wall and <laughs> laundry. <laughs> laundry. So uh, was it a, g- a good bridal shower? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, yeah, Any games? I had a good Any time. Fun games. Yeah, they did. They did games where like you have Pin to guess the tail stuff. on the baby. No, it was more like um, everybody filled out a thing, and it's like you have to get the most questions right about Nicole. <laughs> How'd you do? <laughs> Were you just like kind of just like there? Just like yeah, I was like, no, I wasn't really participating. The fucking food was great because it was at Maggiano's. So, oh, uh, I remember we went there for my, uh, I think, the others. <laughs> so I was like, when did Brandon get a dog? <laughs> <I> got... <laughs> I'm 
Madijan is a great. Yeah. Uh, I went there, I think, for my brother's graduation. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've never been there before. Pretty, pretty good food. Yeah, pretty decent. Um, it kind of like reminds me like the vibe of like Cheesecake Factory and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all the I haven't the been there in a while either. It's pretty good. Job the Cheesecake Factory. Wait, no. Cheesecake Factory, please sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was all right. It, it was fun. Um, they had the, you know those cream puffs where it's like dough and yeah, there's yeah. like whipped cream? They had those, but with fucking ice cream, frozen ice cream in the middle. Ooh. And like, I like almost came. I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, guys, I'm here for the last five minutes of this podcast. Now we're going another hour, baby. <laughs> no, we're not going to do another, another hour. another hour. Um, we talking sucking cock. <laughs> Did somebody say sucking dick? It was me. I said it. <laughs> so, how do you prefer to get your dick sucked? Like, is there a specific technique you prefer? Yeah, I like it when she starts like down at the base, but then she uses her feet to rotate herself <laughs> like a clock. <laughs> My go to. Hi, guys. This has been a little boy. So, Brandon, do you have a preference? <laughs> what he said, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so, man, don't knock it till you <laughs> I like it when they lay there and they don't move. And then I just fucked their throat. And their eyes are open, and they're just staring off into space. Like when they're dead. Like they're dead. <laughs> oh, and then, I'm and then, this. and then they don't react or make noise at all because they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Which part of that do you like in particular? <laughs> that they're dead. <laughs> right on, right on. My favorite part is you have to spit into their mouth because they don't produce their life because they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Alex, <laughs> we like it better when you were here. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys next week. Oh, fuck. I feel like I'm entering something. Get your ass off the mic, Alex. <laughs> <coughs> You're entering his ass. That's the same noise they play at the old start of the Pirates of the Caribbean right at Disneyland. <laughs> uh, John, Johnny Depp, is that you? Yo, 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 where's the rum? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, my stomach hurts. Stomach hurts from swallowing all that cum. <laughs> Johnny Depp, is that you? <laughs> yeah, where's the cum? I mean, the rum. <laughs> where's the cum? <laughs> 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 do you do you guys do, do, do you guys think <laughs> hey, do you guys ever <laughs> all right and welcome to the podcast jerry seinfeld everybody <laughs> what's up with that <sighs> do you guys think he actually like hit his wife and stuff jerry seinfeld johnny knox wait no johnny depp <laughs> what? <laughs> three wow. degrees of three retardation <laughs> right there <laughs> johnny knoxville depp Man, uh, shit that one Johnny, Johnny Knox, Seinfeld. Johnny Bravo, Jack Feld, mm. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> what? Dude, Jack. I think he hit Amber Heard or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure he did. Really? Yeah. He's hit me before, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> Do you see the video of him playing guitar for uh, Alice Marilyn Cooper? Marilyn Manson. No, it was Alice Cooper. I thought hmm. he did it for both. I think. Oh, did he? He plays Idiot. like a douche. He has like a bunch of like bandanas. Yeah, yeah, it's just like shit hanging out of his pockets. And at one point, he's like his hand over the fretboard. I'm slipping inside. <laughs> That's the '80s rock aesthetic, bro. Yeah, well, you, well, you never shredded before, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll stay shredded, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that voice you're doing. He's tapping in. <laughs> <laughs> My final four. <laughs> Hey, bro. You know what bro? <laughs> yeah, you stay shredded, bro. <laughs> you bro stay shredded or what? <laughs> well, you never shredded in your life before, bro. 
Why do I feel like you'll sound like you walk around with a guitar <laughs> strapped to you at all times? You have a stage Tapping. Pinch harmonics. Hammer on. Lots of hammer on. I carry a chorus pedal everywhere I go, man. Sick tones. Tape to the fucking guitar. Sick tones for sick bros. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Kill me. <laughs> Please. The final evolution of Aston. Just what's up, dude? <laughs> Hold still. It's all gonna be all right. Jesus. Is that your dick? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's so sharp. <laughs> I am erect. Man, knife dick would be a pretty effective superhero, huh? Knife dick, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Thank you for stopping that robber. Did you really have to stab him with your yes. dick? Yes, and then he just flies away. <laughs> mid, mid question. Yes. <laughs> Knife dick away. You get that metal like aluminum. <laughs> you know when you. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was laughing. I got yeah, it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. Alex, right. Alex, you got it. Uh huh. Okay. Now stay with me. This is where it gets pretty crazy. <laughs> His sidekick. <laughs> Leather pussy. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah. walk, to like sheathe the knife? Walk, walk, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> walk me through this, Brandon. He gets it. He gets it. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Why does Brandon have a knife? <laughs> He's the alpha of the group. Uh, I have it for work. Are like, you at work right now? You're literally doing a podcast, you piece of shit. It's the just, opposite of work. <laughs> no, this is work. Can we harmonize? Hold yeah. on, no. Uh, you went like the same as me. You you need to go higher. No I'm, no no no. He I was doing the I'll, bass. I'm doing the bass. Beef a bass. <laughs> Beef a bass. <laughs> That's the way it goes. <laughs> I don't understand. That's the way it's always been. That's the way it goes. <laughs> That's the rule. <laughs> be, be for bad, be, be for bad. I'm a bad, so bad, it's a bad. That's the way it goes. I can't breathe. I like his ass. 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 I like <laughs> Do you want to be the bass, Brandon? Yeah. Okay, you get to be the bass. What if he was like, nah, you can have it. Can we stop? My abs are like perpetually tight. Jesus fuck. Okay, we're going to end on us. Okay. Let's harmonize, we're boy. We're going to fucking end. You only got you for an hour, you son of a bitch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's not right. That's not how it's supposed to go. <laughs> See, with the bass, you can never be wrong. All right, ready, set, go. <laughs> I oh. set the level for failure here. Yeah, yeah. uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <That's tough. laughs> Alex, do you want to join my band? <laughs> Alice was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. All right. One, one, one more time. We got to celebrate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to dance and fucking. <laughs> no. Can you do that funk scream that they do? Yeah. No. <laughs> hey. That's like the. <laughs> what the fuck? What? I guess. What's the funk scream? Like that scream. You uh, do it, Alex. I can't do it. That's why I'm asking if you can't because you're black. Try. No. Try. No. This is racist. It's like this super high. First off, dude. what are you doing listening to funk? That's cultural appropriation, <laughs> you white devil. Yeah, that's, that's kind of fucked up, dude. Alex, what the f No. No, wait, but what? Do it. I can't do it. What does it sound, sound like? Do you know in Childish Gambino in, in Redbone where he does like that super high pitched scream? <laughs> yeah, that. Fuck yeah, that. that. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Know. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> There you go. Oh, I guess I can do it. <laughs> Silver linings, everyone.
<laughs> there are some benefits to being black. The, the <laughs> some benefits Just to <laughs> being black. Just a few. <laughs> Just a few <laughs> things. Besides that, it's really bad to be black. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, Ali. <laughs> You go to one bridal shower, you get all white and racist. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. No, fuck. I'm ready to die. You guys are like I'm 10 ready. levels above me by the time I got here. I'm ready you to gotta die. You got to put in your dime, Alex. <laughs> you got to put in your dime. <laughs> <laughs> Just move your mouth as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> in your time. You may have to win in your time. It sounds like you're deaf. You may have to win in your time. What do you mean? What do you mean that you're deaf? When you when you when you when to all of our deaf listeners, we're sorry. <laughs> Shout out to all our deaf listeners out there. Yeah. <laughs> can you have no. subtitles for the deaf? Oh, I guess deaf can read, huh? <laughs> Don't assume. Don't assume. That's rude. <laughs> yeah, but could you imagine someone reading our transcripts? Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, I want to see a blind... Oh, no, they can listen to the podcast. I want the... Fuck, what's it called? Braille. I want the Braille transcriptions of all our episodes. Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I... um, Wait, Braille is for blind people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought we were talking about deaf people. I changed it up, dude. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Look his asshole, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Clean it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything you say, Daddy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah, people just like don't care about poop because no, like, I think they're people. People care about poop. Maybe you don't care about poop. But like, if they're going in and out of anuses a lot, like they it's, make sure it's, they're clean. What if you had a girl that really loved the pooper stuff? She'd make sure it's clean. She wouldn't just be like, "Hey, Alex, I just took a shit. Stick it in." I'm sure there's people like that. Oh, I'm sure too. But that goes yeah, much you know that, farther that than very famous uh, EDM trance song. I'm the scat man. Give me the papi da poop. Gotta poop papi da poop. I'm the scat man. Oh fuck uh, yeah! Shout out to the. How did those two, late nineties? How did those two terms get confused or mixed up? Wait, what two terms? Yeah, I think he's scat. scat porn and then scatting the skibbity bop doodly <laughs> shoot bop doodly boop. Bop. Where does where does the word scat come from? I don't know. Well, scat is referred to like animal droppings. But really? what? Who started that trend? Google it. Snokes it. Snopes, not Snoke. You Star Wars. Ask guy. Jeeves it. <laughs> I got you. Is Ask Jeeves Wait, can, can we can we actually use in? Ask Jeeves? What the fuck's going on here? I was trying to look up when. Um, oh fuck it! Oh wait, hold on. Oh, they got bought out phone. by the man. It says Google search. Oh god, Ask Jeeves just redirects to a Google search. Oh my god. What am I searching? <laughs> Where did the word scat originate no, from? No, look up the Scat Man song. <laughs> Shit, Al. Alex, I told you we get you. Original scat pack. Ask Jeeves fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're gonna go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they go off hastily to scat. Yeah, Maybe Urban Dictionary. As Americanism dating back to 1865, 70. Certain origin. Scat jazz. Scat jizz. I'm oh. a fucking comedy genius. <laughs> Poop jizz. Sing by making full or partial use of the technical of scat singing. Scat three. <laughs> S excrement. Scat item. three. That's my so, favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more perv- top thought provoking than scat two, which was a bit derivative of the original scat. Fuck you. <laughs> The next movie I had Hi, on the Jimmy list. Jimmy Fallon, do you want to? How oh, fucking dare you. <laughs> Taxi's a great movie. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? With Queen Latifah? Yeah, fuck yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> what? You so Wait, Jimmy, I was Jimmy, thinking a taxi driver. I'm like, what? Jimmy Ballard, the taxi driver who can't drive a car, and Queen the Tifa, <laughs> the one that drives the Transformer. Remember, taxi turned into like a Mustang. Oh, she, you're right. Yeah. And then she has to stop the bad Norwegian thieves who like wear bikinis and, and drive a BMW. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> Scat, Buy a sexual. scat mug for your bunkmate, Giovanna. Giovanna. That's racist. Get a scat mug for your Facebook friend, Marissa. Scat, sexual practices related to shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is scientific? Can you look up the definition crazy? it has underlined for to shit? <laughs> 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 to shit. A, presi- uh, a positional. <laughs> a proposition. Oh, that's what it is. A prepositional <laughs> phrase no, used to not. emphasize any number of statements. It is used as any other prepositional phrase, such as, I tickled him to death. What? In this, this case, is, uh, being something like, so I tickled him to shit. To shit. Its usage pertains <laughs> to the complete and total condition of something, be it an event of, or an object. All right. Pop, popcorn read. Aston, go. Bro, I'm scared to shit. Get into it, then get after it. Spring 2018 gear is here. <laughs> you piece of shit. You start reading the fucking ad. What did we stop off? <laughs> Romwe, shop now. Up to 85% off. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> As Brandon actually was like looking at the screen, like, where the fuck are you reading right now? <laughs> I got all of you. The ultimate You're so bit. so fucking smart. The ultimate bit. <laughs> I'm going to retire from the big game. I'm out. <laughs> My magnum opus of bits. Anal virginity. Like- the state of not having been penetrated up the Let ass. me. Can I read the sentence? Barry lost his <laughs> fuck to a cucumber. Oh, look up the definition for cucumber. <laughs> Cucumba. A fe- Cucumba. What the fuck? A female sexual toy cleverly disguised as a vegetable. <laughs> Urban Dictionary is the fucking worst. Most bag clerks at the grocery stores look at the women purchasing these and guess whether this chick is on a diet or as if this thing is going where many men have gone before. Wow, Urban Dictionary with the slut shaming. You know, I've actually heard stories about... That? Yeah. Nice. Like cucumbers being shoved up a girl's ass. You think there's a over... What's all over under on preference towards organic for that? (laughs) Organic's a must, man. You can't have... Pesticides in your coochie. Well, you know. well, it's going in the anus. Well, not all the time. Female. I sex- prefer kumquats. <laughs> I'm more of a spaghetti squash guy. <laughs> yeah. The the one the the weird end of yeah. the squash. It's like a plug. I, <laughs> I like a nice shaved yam, warmed up. You know, uh, just so it's not mushy. But when you can like squeeze your butt and it gives way and you just crush would you it? say red yam? Nah, it's got it's got to be like sweet. Potato yam. Yeah, I have experimented with uh, purple potatoes. It's really not the same. It's a, it's a, you know, give or take kind of thing for me. It is. I, what is happening here in season or, or <laughs> you're not? This bit. It's a bit. It's, it's, it's a, a bit. It's a bit. It's not a fucking bit. It's not a fucking bit. I don't like that shit. I like, look at me. Everyone get off your fucking phones. Jesus Christ. I'm going to drink someone's water. Yes, Alex, go ahead. Have some more <laughs> water. I like how you reached for mine and just said, nope. You're like, I, I realized uh, if I did Brandon, he would have said something. God damn right. I would have Joke's said something. Joke's on you. I said something. Uh, you guys want to cut it? I'm tired. I'm tired of this shit. I'm hungry. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I need a nap. Mom's still right now. She called. Ah. <laughs> she called me. If you call me back, nap, nap. I'm okay. Uh, if only other people call me too. I'm a cell phone. Does your facial hair not connect to like <laughs> right here? To his skin. There's just a gap like right here. Or do you shave that? Hey, you shouldn't be talking, asshole. Well, no, I'm just noticing yours. Yours is layered like an amphitheater. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but yes, nice. some parts don't connect, but I've also shaved. <laughs> what about you? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck oh, I, you. I know I have shitty facial hair. <laughs> Fuck you. It's, it, everyone loves this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the girl at the shop said this looked great on me. I went to the bar. So many people looked and smiled. I brought laughter. This is all I have. Please, you piece of shit. Are you guys fucking Gilbert? Gilbert Godfrey? Gilbert? <laughs> Gilbert Goober. <laughs> it's Gilbert Gilfrey. <laughs> I loved you in Aladdin. You guys have a... The thing with the squinting and it gets squinting and the loud noises. I was a duck for Affleck. <laughs> Wait, was that him? I was the duck for Ben Affleck. But who was it? No, he was the parrot in Aladdin, right? Yeah, but he did those commercials. Affleck. Affleck. <laughs> yeah, no. his famous line from Aladdin. <laughs> Didn't he get in trouble for joking about 9-11? <laughs> it, wasn't that his downfall? Are you implying that Gilbert Godfrey has gone downhill? The, yeah. ri- the <laughs> rise and fall of the great Gilbert Godfrey. It happened like I think he made a joke about 9/11 or something, and like they were just like, "Oh," and that's why he's not. Haven't like, we all made jokes about 9/11? I know, but he did it in the public. The spotlight. people on the plane were making jokes about 9/11. Come on, people, let's calm down. And <laughs> right. we're not gonna die. <laughs> in hindsight, this is pretty funny. <laughs> As the place going in, <laughs> we're not going to be used as martyrs to start a false war against terrorism. <laughs> Think of the memes, Jerry. Think of the memes. <laughs> I'm at peace now. <laughs> I'm <laughs> true euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Nirvana? <laughs> oh my god! If I wasn't going to hell before, do you think the people on the plane died quick? No, I hope so. No, I, I really think, hope I think so. They suffered. There were a few that like survived the impact, and then they just dealt with the explosion, and then they probably burnt to death. I'm yeah. sure some died like on impact, something like neck snap. Because you gotta think that seatbelt's the waste. They're hitting that building going so fast, their body's just gonna whip down. Their well, I'm snap- assuming when the plane hit, if it hit hard enough, the plane would have just crumpled. Nah, just because those walls give way. No, those planes aren't made out of like very sturdy steel. But I mean, you saw it, it went like into the building. Right, but eventually it's only going to hit so much, and the force oh, yeah. stops. Well, or yeah, it crumples inside. Yeah. So what we're saying is, uh, it was an inside job. Bush did nine eleven. Bush did three eleven. Lizard people are real. Investigate three <laughs> eleven. Eric Andre, welcome to the no. show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing gross stuff. I'm Gilbert Godfrey. Do <laughs> the thing. Hannibal. So, Alex. Alex is a bridal show. Yarb. Hey, let's talk about music. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yarb. Okay, movie guy. I watch movies. I know obscure references. I'm I don't Alex. Think, I don't think Hot Fuzz is that obscure of a reference. Wait, isn't it Yarp? That was Yarb. Yarb. I think it's Yarb. Yarb. Isn't really? Yeah, it's a P. Yarb. You ever watch it with the subtitles? Not a real fan. Oh my god. Eric Edgar Wright wrote a whole thing. Eric (laughs) Eric Edgar Wright. (laughs) Edgar Allen Wright Poe wrote that (laughs) in mind. (laughs) I watched the movie with the director's commentary. He told me himself okay. I'm not lying. Fuck. (laughs) Immediately start being (laughs) defensive and crying. You're lying. <laughs> you don't know now that I researched so much. It's literally my favorite movie, and you know that. <laughs> Fuck. You make an asshole. <laughs> All right, we back, we back, and we back, and we back. Dude, turtles come a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave it at that. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Fine with everything that just happened. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Did you know that the animal that Knuckles the Hedgehog is has six heads on its penis? I met them all. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Alex. Give me more <laughs> an- animal penis facts. I don't really know anymore. <laughs> 
Doesn't Why the, not? Doesn't the swan have like a corkscrew dick? Does it? I think it's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. What has the largest dick? What animal is it? The whale. Blue whale. Is it? Beluga <laughs> blue whale. <laughs> blue <laughs> the whale known as beluga. <laughs> I, I the, went to an ocean. I see Belugi whale. <laughs> Belugi. <laughs> Belugi whale this big. <laughs> He's my friend. He comes say hi. We get coffee tomorrow. <laughs> a good guy. Real life. <laughs> Real life, friend. Oh, my God. Alex is not enjoying <laughs> this. <laughs> Welcome our next guest, Alex's eyeball. Ah! Get me out of here! I have seen horrible things! <laughs> he likes to bend over and look in the mirror, and I don't want to look. <laughs> There's so many tumors. <laughs> oh, <God. Ew. laughs> oh, that one's bleeding. Ooh, is that an ulcer? I see. Hemorrhoid, though, a bitch. Hemorrhoid. <laughs> So I'm just gonna. <laughs> you look like you're. You look, look like you're always about to sneeze. <laughs> you look like you belong in like a comic book podcast, like looking up like that. I can eat. It's so fucking much. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going to well, eat? Well, I'm eating dinner with Tara. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Room for two more. <laughs> <laughs> I can do yeah. She's probably not going to be hungry for a while, so I'm probably just going to dip out. Oh, you can just fucking pop in and out whenever the fuck you want to. I'm Who really? do you think you are, my dad? <laughs> <laughs> I got to go get milk. Uh, Mom's really hurting right now. <laughs> <laughs> How could you fucking do this to her? My family's broken. Well, I mean, that's fair. Sucking at the teat of, of the podcast, huh? Put your phone down. Your friends are up here. Your, your girlfriend Snapchatted me. Oh, okay. Fucking fantastic. Oh, look, it's tits. Brandon's wiener. <laughs> yeah. Look at what I got. <laughs> look what I got. I'm expecting that to happen eventually. I was going to. Kenny used to be like that. She used to just Snapchat you like naked and shit. Sick. That's fucked up. <laughs> I was raped. Did I you ever see raped. any of those? I think I might have seen one of Brandon like in the bathroom. Yeah, and he's like just like blackout drunk and <laughs> naked. I think I've seen that one. Yeah, it's the natural state. Got to get uh, for our podcast listeners at home. That's the album art for this episode. One of my fucking senior year passed out drunk. Fucking oh god. Mm-mm. I'm fucking hungry. All right, let's call it. I'm um, hungry. We need food. Uh, Alex, you come. Post in the comments what we should get to eat. Yes, and we'll uh, get we'll it. Do it. And also, if you have uh, want to ask us shit or need advice, if you is your boyfriend being a butt? What is your dad gone? <laughs> is my dad gone? Any questions? Follow us on Instagram and ask them. What's our handle, Brandon? The Little Boys Room Podcast. I th- right? Yeah, yeah. Is, is that right? Uh huh. Oh yeah. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Alright, we'll see you guys next week. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thanks for joining us at the last minute, Alex. Thanks for joining yeah, us. Yeah, I just I thought you guys would have been done, yeah, so I was like, I'll just hang out. That's a Okay, effect. see you okay, next see you week. Later. Bye. 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 Uh, well. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.